Hello fellow mathematicians, today I would like to speak on Carl Hermitin's theory, urging values, urging vectors and urging spaces. My name is Isaac Amara Tejuwetu. Let's dive into it. The Carl Hermitin's theory states that every square matrix has to satisfy its own characteristics for equation. That is, first we generate the this characteristics polynomial. We find the determinant of, of our lambda times an identity matrix minus what our original matrix A, which the lambda here is, is a scalar. So to be convinced that we happen to obtain the right characteristics, what equation or the polynomial for a given matrix, when we substitute our matrix A in place of this lambda, as you see here, it should give us what a zero matrix. So let's look at an example. And so we'll consider a given matrix A. Find the characteristics for the equation of the square matrix and hence find the adjunct values, adjunct vectors, and adjunct spaces. Let's look at it into details. So we we have this expression as we have seen it as we have seen it in the previous slides to obtain the characteristics polynomial we find a determinant of this as equation one and then we, we our i which is the identity matrix is written here our lambda which is the scalar is seen here too and then minus what our original matrix m we then go ahead and then simplify equation two to give us what equation three and from equation three to obtain equation three to obtain equation four we first of all consider our first element since we want to find the determinant and our first element is what lambda and there's two here and then when you cross for us to get a sub matrix that is going to multiply we first of all have to cross the rule and cross the column then we'll be left with this matrix here this sub matrix here which is seen here and then we we'll also consider then minus minus one times what its own sub matrix which when you cross this matrix here the, this rule when we cross this column we'll be left with minus one 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 lambda minus one which is which is also written here nicely and then we we'll consider the last one which is plus plus one and its own sub matrix. So we cross the rule, cross the column, and then we'll be left to what this matrix, this sub matrix here that is absent as written down here. From equation four, we still find the determinant of uh, the sub matrices that we have obtained. And then it gives rise to equation five. From equation five, the whole of this term will give us what two. The whole of these two terms will give us what two into bracket lambda minus one. And then, then our the whole of our first term is written as this one. We then go ahead and find the factors of this. Term that's lambda square minus four lambda plus three, which gives rise to what lambda minus three. We can this the whole of this one can be written as lambda minus three, lambda minus one. We and from equation seven, we happy to see that okay, we have lambda minus one here and lambda minus one here. So we then do go ahead and factor it out, which gives us will rise to equation eight. From equation eight, all that we want to do is we want to uh, we want to move away from multiply the whole thing for at a go and then later on doing a long division. So we want to use the factorization approach in order to simplify, help us to get get our roots that we are interested in. So from equation seven, we factor our lambda minus one out which we happen to see it as equation eight from equation eight we multiply this whole term which uh, in effect happens to give us equation nine 
from the equation now we re we express this one in terms of what lambda minus one lambda minus four and from the here we from equation ten we can even have a gist of what the roots the lambda values are so when you multiply the whole of this one equation ten we'll be getting what equation 11 which equation 11 is the characteristics word polynomial that we are looking for or the characteristic equation when we happen to equate the equation 11 towards zero so considering our matrix a with this one we happen to see from like i've said from equation 10 we happen to see that okay this is our origin values that we are looking for when we create equation 10 to what to zero so from so we want to having obtained our adding values we can we can also use the adding values to obtain the trace of a matrix so the trace of a matrix is telling us that okay, we have to sum all the adding values which is what one plus one plus one plus four which is equal to what six and then also from our given matrix we can also find the trace by summing up the diagonals that's two plus two plus two which is also equal to what six so from there we can also look at finding the determinant of a matrix as you, when we happen to obtain our given adding values so when we sum when we multiply all the adding values that's one times one times four give rise to what our uh, <coughs> give rise to what four as we have seen here we then move ahead having obtained our adding values we then want to go ahead and then find our adding vectors and adding spaces so we we are familiar familiar with this very matrix that we have seen here so we say considering we consider when our lambda is equal to what one. If our lambda is equal to one, we to help us obtain our adjin values, we kind of get an augmented matrix, which we have seen here. So with the help of the augmented matrix, we use then apply the rule reduction method, which the rule reduction method happens to give us what uh, this very matrix this very augmented matrix that we have seen here if we take a critical look at this uh, matrix that we have seen here is it row, row 2 and row 3 they are all scalar multiples of row 1 that's the reason why we happen to obtain only one row augmented row matrix so then we then go ahead and then see how best we can be able to generate our adding vector and adding spaces so from equation from from this augmented matrix here we can express it when we happen to choose some dummy variables of which we said okay negative one negative x negative y and then plus our z equal to zero we re express our augmented matrix in terms of this equation. So our x then becomes what? Minus negative y plus for z. So to find the adding spaces, we re express, we know our x can be written as this, which is this one, our y. <laughs> okay, we said, okay, in order to avoid repetition we want to set our z to be equal to t and our y to be equal to x and from then we wherever we see our x we replace it with wherever we see our z we say okay our z is t and our x y is s so our x cannot be seen as for minus x plus t so from here we can re-express the whole of this one in terms of this. So like taking into consideration with, uh, our first adding vector, which is what x times what taking the x axis 
be happy to see that okay we have minus one here and then one here but we don't have any x as long as z is concerned so then it becomes a zero here plus taking the t also into consideration we know that okay we have what positive one here which is this very one that we have here our s considering our y y becomes zero here and then what our z is one here so from so from this equation 15 we can we have seen that we happen to obtain what two ig what vectors from the ig what space and this kind of agree with that okay we considering our lambda to be equal to one we happen to obtain two of the lambda one and lambda two to be equal to one so that's what brings about the effect of we having two adding vectors here and our t and our x should not be equal to zero and then we also go ahead and then consider our lambda being equal to four and then with the lambda being equal to four we should also expect to have an adding vector to be equal to one to be one one adding vector so when then we then substitute which happens to give rise to this argumented matrix that we have seen here we then apply the rule reduction method with the rule reduction method we having to obtain this very admitted matrix here and then when you look at it, rule 2 and rule 3 one is a scalar multiple of the other so straight ahead our third rule will run towards zero when we perform the second rule reduction step so as seen here so from here we can we multiply 2 by 3 which gives us 1 1 1 that's what we have seen over here so we also choose our dummy variables which we have 2x minus y plus z for the first one equals 0 and then z y plus z for the second row so straight ahead we can see that okay, expressing equation 7 17 we know our y is equal to our minus z of which we said okay we set our z to be equal to our t so setting our z equal to t then we know our y automatically is also going to be minus t and our x when we when we do our substitution our x becomes was minus t as well so the adding value for our lambda 3 big lambda 3 which is equal to lambda is equal to 4 becomes what uh, t into bracket uh, minus one 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 which the whole of this one is our agent space with the agent space considering assuming our t becomes what negative one if our t becomes negative one we'll be getting what when you multiply it, you'll be getting what uh, that is one one and minus one so in conclusion we happens to have our first column and the second column from the first adding space and our third column from the lambda our third adding space which is what lambda equal to four and then we express our we write our adding values in terms of a diagonal matrix so to obtain our matrix a back we have our p times the diagonal matrix and then the p inverse multiply them together gives us back our original matrix A